I'm a diehard Indiana sports fan, and I noticed Robert Tanyan has broke up for the Green Bay Packers, and I had no idea he went to a college near where I'm from. Going into college, he started out as a quarterback, but by the end of it, he was a wide receiver, and now that he's in the NFL, he is a tight end. He went undrafted coming out of school, but that never stopped him from achieving his dream. He snuck around on the Packers and made a good impression with the coaches, and now in 2020, when he's finally healthy, he has become one of the best tight ends in the NFL. So how did this happen, and what is his story? Today we will talk about the unbelievable journey of Robert Tanyan and how he has gotten to this point. But first, if you're new to the channel and you like football, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that red bell to be notified every time I upload. And be sure to comment, share, and like this video so there's a better chance of getting in the algorithm and more people can see it, hence I can upload more. Let me know who I should do next down in the comment section as well, and be sure to stay until the end. And now let's get started with the rise of Robert Tanyan. Unless you're an avid follower of the Indiana State Sycamores, you likely didn't even know who Robert Tanyan was coming out of college, and you definitely didn't know he wanted to be a quarterback originally. He grew up loving football, and he was a guy who was a lifelong quarterback, and he always wore a Brett Favre jersey around. He was spotted in that as early as a three-year-old, so the Packers honestly ran in his blood. He would play backyard football games with the neighbors, hoping to someday actually suit up on Sundays, but that really never looked like it was going to happen. After one peewee practice, he was hooked. He was also super talented, and the coaches said this guy had a future in the sport. When Robert finally started playing youth baseball, his mother gave a two-week notice to the local hospital where she had worked at for 20 years prior and started her own cleaning business. She did that because she didn't want to miss any of her son's games. Robert was a natural three-sport athlete, but football proved to be his true calling once he got to high school. He became an all-conference player during his junior and senior year at McHenry High School, and he broke the school's career record for passing yards and touchdowns. No one ever really thought this was going to happen except his mom, Tammy. She would spend hours every night, typically from 9pm to 1am, emailing Division I coaches on Robert's behalf. She was dedicated and wanted to see her son get to college. But despite that, he was very lightly recruited coming out of high school and he had to settle for Indiana State, a low tier FCS program. So yeah, he was going to get his college paid for and get to play football, but he probably wasn't going to get to the NFL. Tanya would enroll there in 2012, and he started four years after redshirting his freshman year. He appeared in 11 games in 2013, starting three as the quarterback. His first career completion was a 57-yard touchdown, and he completed 35 of 102 passes for 348 yards and three touchdowns. That completion percentage wasn't very good, as you can tell, and that's probably why he ultimately decided to move to wide receiver. Once at that position, he would catch 54 passes for 747 yards and 4 touchdowns, which included a career-high 172 yards in the last game of the season. As the years passed, there was some optimism in the Tanyan household that he could get a chance to play in the NFL, but everyone involved knew it would be an uphill battle. In 2015, he had 40 catches for 601 yards and 6 touchdowns despite just starting 6 of the 11 games. He did earn an honorable mention spot on the All-Missouri Valley Conference football team. Going into his senior year, he started out the season very good. On the biggest stage of his college football career, he got eight passes for 90 yards and three touchdowns against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. He'd go on to have 56 catches for 699 yards and a school record 10 touchdowns. He'd set several career records for the Sycamores, but he did not get an invitation to the annual NFL Scouting Combine in nearby Indianapolis, but he did put up eye-popping numbers including a 4.58 40-yard dash. If he ever really wanted a chance to play in the NFL, he was going to have to make one more position switch, and this would mean tight end. But there was a huge problem with that. Since he was a receiver, he needed to put on a ton of weight, and he had an extremely high metabolism. He worked out with a professional tight end, and apparently the two often bought four or five packages of chicken and grilled out after every workout. The family made him eat four or five meals a day sometimes, and he was constantly eating for a year, in hope that he would catch his big break. Now let's look at the timeline of how his NFL career has panned out. On May 12, 2017, the Lions signed Tanya to a three-year, $1.66 million contract, and this made him the 10th Indiana State football player to ever reach the NFL. But he was released before the season ever began, and he was signed to the Packers practice squad for the final four games of the season, and was re-signed by the Packers for the 2019 campaign. He would find out he was signed to the 53-man roster going into the season on his mother's birthday, and the years of investment by the family was finally paying off, and I bet it was honestly the best birthday present she could have ever asked for. He appeared in the first nine games of the season, but was targeted just once before his first NFL touchdown catch from Aaron Rodgers in Week 11. He totaled four catches for 77 yards and one touchdown on the 2018 season. In 2019, the Packers tendered exclusive rights to Tanyan, and he would catch a 12-yard touchdown pass and a win over the Washington Redskins. He would end up getting 10 catches for 100 yards on the 2019 season. He's apparently super good friends with George Kittle and worked out with him over the summer going into this year, 
people saw him as a potential breakout guy. In April of 2020, the Packers re-signed Tanyan on an exclusive rights free agent deal, putting him on the roster for Green Bay. On September 20th, Tanyan cut an 11-yard touchdown pass and a win over the Detroit Lions in Week 2, and things would only get better two weeks later on Monday Night Football. He would catch six passes for 98 yards, including three touchdowns, which led to the Packers to a big 30-16 win over the Falcons. His mom said, quote, I just couldn't believe it. It's like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is my life. I'm actually watching my son on TV, and he's scoring three touchdowns. Who can say that? Aaron Rodgers had this to say about him. Robert and I have had a good connection since he got here. I just appreciate his work ethic, his approach, and I think he's a really good pro. What's impressed Coach Matt LaFleur the most about Tanyan has been the way he's developed the other parts of his game. He's become a good run blocker, which has allowed him to be on the field more because he's not just a pass-catching threat. LaFleur says, quote, What I've been so impressed with Bobby is his willingness to improve as a run blocker and try to become a complete player. I think he's gotten better and better. That's the expectation. I think he's going to continue to get better. I absolutely love his mentality right now. Overall, Robert has taken the path less traveled so far to the NFL, and I really hope to see him do well for the rest of the 2020 NFL season. It's honestly a miracle he's made it to this point, and he definitely has to thank his family for all the dedication and time they've put into this. He's now one of my favorite players in the NFL, and I really hope he has a big time year. What do you guys think of his story? And who should I do next? If you enjoyed his story or enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like, share this video with your friends, and stay until the end as it'll help it get in the algorithm, which helps it do better and helps my channel get more views, which means I can upload more for you guys. If you're new and you like football, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the red bell icon so you get alerted every time I upload, and check out all my other NFL player story videos while you're still here. I will definitely see you guys again soon, but until then, peace.